This week's Say What segment is a little different. James Ware sat down with a group of Lamar University students to discuss food stamps. Now keep in mind they didn't know what the subject was until just before the interview. Well, the House recently passed a plan that would cut the food stamp program by almost $40 billion. That's almost half of what it is now. Some Democrats are calling it the most, well, the most heartless bill they've ever seen. Others calling it a waste of time since it more than likely will not pass the Senate anyway. But still, it's worth some discussion, and that's where our group of Lamar students come in. Thanks for joining us. Y'all are some brave hearts getting in here and <laughs> talking about this subject. But uh, what do you think? What's food stamp in general? Let's start out with the numbers. How many Americans do you believe are on food stamps? Mm, hundreds of thousands. Yeah. Hundreds of thousands? What if I told you 48 million? Wow. One in seven. Wow. About 14% of the U.S. population. What do you think of that? It's not very, not very good. Yeah, and how so? I mean, you should, I mean, it'd be good if, you know, we wouldn't have the government having to help support people when you could go out and take care of yourself in a, in a, in a sense. Um, in a way, just kind of go out and go get what's yours and um, well, does it surprise you that that number has almost doubled in the last five years? Mm, yes, I think people are taking advantage of yeah. it. Yeah, taking advantage of so it. It's less surprising. It's not, yeah, it's not very right. surprising. Well, it's also harder to get a job um, in some areas, and I know that we've had with the recent economic changes or hardships, it's harder for people to get a job so that they can support their families. But I do, I do think that number is very high. Yeah. yeah, and some people would say the jobs are kind of coming back, but uh, people on food stamps continues to rise. Yeah. Well, I, I guess I mean, we, I, there are people taking advantage, I'm sure. Yeah. I yeah. mean, every first it's, of the month we see shopping carts full to the brim, mm -hmm. you know, and we're the ones standing behind them. Like, are they getting all that stuff? And yeah. then sure Waiting enough, for them. Right. Yeah. But That's we'll right. all agree that there are some people in need. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there are people in need. I think there's just flaws in the system. Um, as far as you know, I think people use it as a crutch. You know, um, I think it should be a cutoff time or something like that or a grace period. Um, people to stay on and they know how to work the system. I think the system just needs to get tougher. Yeah. Well, let me ask you some true false questions then. Can you have tens of thousands of dollars in the bank and still qualify for food stamps? No. Yes. Well, the answer is true. Doesn't have anything to do with how much you have in the bank. I guess it's more based on what you have coming in. A recipient must be drug tested. It's false. That's false. 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 But they're working. Some states. Working, yeah, some, some states, states Utah, Florida, Florida, places like that, you have to be drug tested. Uh, what do you think of that? I think, that's a, I think that's a great I, I like that. thing. I mean, if I have to get drug tested to get a job, I mean. Yeah, if, I mean, if we can, thing. if we have to get drug tested to get a job to be able to have our money that we earn set aside so that someone can get food stamps, then they should be able to have to get a drug test to be able to get the money for food stamps. And I think that's just yeah. to reassure that we're not supporting someone's habit, Right. Um, mm -hmm. that we need to be supporting their family and putting food on the table and not someone's drug habit, if that is the case. Yeah. So five of us here, you all agree on that? Yes. Yes, I agree. Yes. Yeah. You always hear that story of someone in the food line, they pay with a Lone Star card mm -hmm. and they've got a T-bone steak in there. Right. Yeah. Or they're carrying a brand name purse. As they're texting yeah. on their iPhone. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Huh. Uh, crawfish balls and fish fries and, you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm out here struggling. I, I pay $100 and I only get a meal out of it. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I think in the early 1900s when the Food Stamp Act was passed, I don't think anybody would imagine that we'd be in 2013 and there'd be so many people on it. It was um, it was put in act as a something to be a, a relief for the people so that they could get food, not something that they could live on for the rest of their life. It's just so they can get back on their feet, so to speak. Good stuff. Melvin. Guys, thank y'all for joining us. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. There you go. That's this week's edition of Say What.